In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to convert a video from a camera, like this one, to a format that will play in a picture frame. The video format I found that works on a picture frame is an AVI file with DivX compression. Now if you'd like to skip this video and look for software that will convert from any video format to an AVI file with DivX compression, feel free to do so. The method I chose for this tutorial was simply because I wanted to keep all of the software free. So if you're ready, let's begin. I have already recorded a sample clip on my camera, so I will take the memory card, place it in my memory card reader, and copy the movie file from the card to my computer. It would be great if the video from my camera just worked on the picture frame, but the video is in MOV format and having the right format is the trouble you will face with most video files. Even if the video you want to play on the picture frame is an AVI file from a camcorder, it will probably not have DivX compression. So we need to convert the file, and for this step I will use a program called MPEG Stream Clip. You can download it from the internet by entering the website on the screen. The version I downloaded was 1.2b. As well, before using Stream Clip, you will want to make sure that you have the most current version of QuickTime. If you want to be able to convert videos in StreamClip to MPEG format, you will need to either buy QuickTime MPEG support from Apple or get the QuickTime alternative version 1.8.1, which is also available on the StreamClip website. MPEG conversion is not necessary in what we will be doing, it's just something I thought I would mention in case you want to experiment with that setting in StreamClip. So, once you've either installed QuickTime or the QuickTime alternative and you've downloaded the MPEG Stream Clip program, you will need to extract Stream Clip. You simply right click on the Stream Clip zipped file and choose Extract. Extract wherever you want. In my case, I'm putting it on the desktop. You can move this once you've extracted it, so don't feel that it's stuck wherever you put it. The extraction is finished, and here's the new folder with Stream Clip. Open the folder and double click on the Stream Clip program. Now, go to the File menu, then Open Files. Find your video that you want to convert. Mine is the sample video that I placed on the desktop earlier. Click on Open, and your video loads into Stream Clip. Now, go back to the File menu and click on Export to AVI. Leave compression on Apple Photo JPEG, move the quality up to 100%, and click on the Make AVI button. Choose where you want to save the video, which for myself will be back on the desktop. Give the file a name and click Save. Now we've made an AVI file, but it doesn't have DivX compression. So, for the last step, we will need two programs, DivX and Virtual Dub. You may already have DivX, but it wouldn't hurt to download the latest version. The website is on the screen, so go to the home page, download the free version, and install it. Once that's installed, go to the Virtual Dub homepage. The version I got was the stable version 1.7.8. After you download it, extract the file, and you will have a Virtual Dub folder with the Virtual Dub program inside. Open the folder and double click on the Virtual Dub program. Go to the File menu, open Video File, and open the file we just made with Stream Clip. Then go to the Video menu, Compression, choose the DivX codec, and click OK. Go back to the File menu, then Save as AVI, select where you want to save the video and what file name to use, and click on the Save button. Now copy the file you just made with Virtual Dub to the memory card. Put the card in the photo frame and enjoy your masterpiece. A couple final notes. I didn't mention anything about quality settings, like if you want to make your videos smaller, because for some reason when I tried to change the quality settings, both in Stream Clip and in Virtual Dub, it didn't make any difference in file size. Maybe having the pro version of DivX would make a difference, I'm not sure. 
Also, if you want to do any editing, you'll probably have to purchase a program unless you already have one on your computer. Most DVD burners have video editing software that might work. If you are thinking of using Windows Movie Maker, I tried it and unfortunately it didn't work when it came time to saving the file. If you don't have anything, you could try a Google search for video editing software. My quick search showed quite a few programs ranging from $20 to as high as you want to spend. If you're not sure what to get, look for trial versions before you commit to purchasing, as you may find a program doesn't do what you want it to. Anyway, I leave that all up to you to decide, but for now, I hope this tutorial will help you get those videos converted and viewable on your picture frame. If you have any questions or comments, please email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can.